Hey everybody, welcome back in for another video. Today I wanted to talk to everybody about uh, something I've been thinking a lot lately about. Uh, I've started working on Curse City on stream on my Twitch uh, and kind of been keeping track. Uh, right now I'm in the middle of building uh, the models, but it got me thinking. Uh, I got this Cursed City box right when it came out in April 2021, right? So <clears throat> it got me thinking with some of the boxes I've had for years that are in a pile, like what's my completion rate or my like turnover rate of from when I buy a box to when it is completed and, you know, in my case or I'm, I'm completed painting it and consider the project done. Uh, and I'm sure there's a better word for it. I'm sure someone in the comments will be like, oh, it's termed this. But that's your, what I thought I would call it for this video is your completion rate. Uh, because, again, with the Cursed City box that I've got right here, uh, it is going to end up being... I've set the goal to finish it to be October 30th. So for Halloween, uh, I can start playing with some of my friends kind of thing. I've played the game before with other people who have built and painted the models but it's just my own kind of box set and actually getting to play it again i haven't played it essentially for a, a very very long time now but it, it just has me thinking because my fastest conversion rate turnover rate whatever you want to call it uh for a box set is when i got the very first war cry box set uh and i purchased it built it uh, and completed it within about two weeks. I think it might have been 16 days, kind of thing, just over two weeks. Um, but I ripped through that, and I really enjoyed painting that terrain. Uh, and I'm, it's in the case beside me. But it's funny because with this, like, it'll end up being like a year and six months or something like that. Like that, that's a long time. But I started going through something of my old stuff, and I've got like the chaos Christmas box from four years ago where I've took one thing out of it that I needed right away, built it, painted it and used it immediately. And the rest of that box is still, the, the models are still in that box, right? So there's some things I've had for four or five years where even if it's just bits and pieces or one portion of that box, like technically the box isn't done. I m purchased other things and painted them in that time, but it just got me thinking uh, because a lot of people, again, this is kind of the time of year going into Christmas and I'm going to make one where it's kind of your, your pile of potential where I'm going to show everything that I've got, uh, to paint. And I'm trying to pump through a bunch of stuff before I do that, where I have kind of half completed projects or things that are really close to being done. So I'm going to try and finish all of those, varnish them, like get them in my case and then be like, okay, let's start. What do I have to do? What projects am I going to be working on? What can I finish? Uh, and I want to try to motivate people into kind of taking a look at your own, you know, piles and kind of going through stuff. Because I've been selling off some of my stuff where there's some armies where I still would love to paint them. Like I had paint schemes, test schemes done for some armies, but I'm just looking at everything being like, there's no way I'm going to finish all this stuff, right? Like there's still new stuff coming out that I want to get and I've just, I, I've got to kind of cut it off with what I'm getting. But I'm excited to finish Curse City. I really want to paint those models. I'm super into it. And I think it is that cycle of I've kind of gone back into it where I'm like, you know what? I saw that uh, expansion box that's going to come up for Curse City. And I'd love to play that. Uh, but I don't live with in <laughs> a distance that it's easy for me to go to one of my friends who has a built and painted set of this. Right. So it's on me to kind of get that done. And that's motivated me to like, OK, I really want to play that new uh, like expansion let's get this project done, let's get it painted. Uh, and I'm super excited about it again. Like, I, I always knew I was going to get to it, but it was always just kind of at the back or I was working on something else. So I feel like I need to kind of start that cycle again of going through some of my older projects and really narrowing it down and being like, hey, I'm going to finish these things. And I hope this kind of motivates everyone else to get in that mentality as well, where you want to revisit some old stuff, you know, uh, the enthusiasm that you had when you bought it, because I feel like, it happens to all of us where something new and shiny comes out or something you've waited for for a long time and you get that, but you've still got, you know, that army that you haven't built. You know, like I'm, I'm definitely falling victim to that many times. Uh, but going into kind of winter now, I'm really going to try to start painting more, building more, 
and assessing stuff and kind of putting deadlines, right? Like the Curse City box, I want to have this painted up by the 30th of October, right? So I'm kind of going to give keep track of that, post on my Instagram, keep working out on my Twitch, and kind of, again, use that as a guideline, being like, hey, I've got you know a month left, I've got this long left, where am I at, how much time do I need to finish this, let's get this done for that date. You know, if I don't finish it, we'll see how close I can get to it, right? Like it's a, not a hard, like if you don't finish it or else kind of thing. But I, I like that I've set a deadline for it. I usually don't do that for anything. And I think that this might help me finish this project. And maybe I can do that where at the end of each month, I'm going to outline a couple things to do. Uh, this is kind of giving me a bit more of a time frame. But again, I've been super busy. I haven't been able to paint and build as much as I would like to. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you're going into this winter motivated to get some stuff done or if you're still just like, you know what, I'm just going to keep building up that pile. I'll get to stuff eventually because uh, I think we all fall victim to that. But it's it's so great when you start and finish a project. Like I really want to get in that mode again of finishing what I start. Uh, so again, let me know in the comments what you think. Is there stuff that you've got lying around and you're like, you know what, I'm going to take a second look at that. I'm going to get that project done. If you're already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Uh, it helps me out so much. Uh, and there's lots of stuff going to be coming down the pipeline uh, for all my projects and for hopefully doing some painting videos soon. I'm trying to work on getting a bit of a better camera so I can do some good painting tutorials. And the first thing I plan on doing is my death card tutorial. Uh, I'll see everyone in the next video. Thanks for watching.